How many times have you driven by a field of grain ready for harvest or seen the massive machines in those fields harvesting the grain and wondered, how do those machines work? How is a machine able to take an entire plant and only keep one small part of it? How does it take this and turn it into this? The modern combine is an amazing machine. The name combine comes from the fact that it does three separate processes that used to be accomplished by multiple different machines and combines it into one machine. A combine cuts the crop, threshes the grain, and then finally separates the grain from the chaff. There are three main designs of combines. The original design, and the oldest, uses a cylinder to thresh the crop and then passes the crop to a set of straw walkers that shakes the grain from the crop. The newer design, which is more prevalent today, uses a rotor or twin rotors to thresh and separate the grain from the plant. The third design is a hybrid of the first two. A cylinder threshes the grain where it is then passed to two rotors that separate the grain from the plant. Everything begins at the header. The header is an attachment that attaches to the front of the combine, cuts the crop, and moves the crop to the feeder house. There are several different types of headers that can attach to combines depending on the crop being harvested and different harvest conditions. In this case, we're using a corn head that follows the rows of corn and strips the ear of corn off the stalk. Different types of headers also include rigid and flexible platform headers, draper headers, row crop headers, stripper headers, and pickup headers. On a corn head, rotating knives grab the corn stalk and yank it downward between two steel plates called deck plates. The width between these plates is wide enough for a corn stalk to go through, but too narrow for the ear of corn to pass through. The ear of corn is stripped off and chains with lugs pull the ear of corn back to the auger. The auger moves the corn to the opening of the feeder house where it is fed into. The feeder house contains chain driven slats that bring the crop to the feed accelerator. From there, it is transferred to the main threshing component, the rotor. The rotor is a 30 inch wide steel cylinder that spins inside of a cage called concaves. The rotor spins anywhere from 300 to 1000 revolutions per minute depending on the crop being harvested. As the crop spins around the cage with the rotor, it rubs on the other grain and crop material and is loosened from the plant. This is called threshing. The concaves have holes in them sized large enough for the grain to fall through but keeping the larger pieces of crop residue inside the cage. After the grain is threshed, it is thrown out of the rotor cage by centrifugal force. This is called separation. The crop flow through the concaves is controlled by the speed of the rotor and angled transport vanes. After the grain is separated from the crop residue, it falls onto the cleaning system. The cleaning system consists of a shaker pan and screens, which are called sieves. The sieves shake back and forth to stratify the grain in the chaff. Because of the shaking action, the grain, which is heavier, will fall to the bottom, while the chaff, which is lighter, will rise to the top. The sieves have slots large enough for the grain to fall through, but small enough that the larger pieces of chaff cannot fall through. Underneath the sieves, a fan blows air upward at high velocity usually around 1,000 RPM. This air is enough to keep the lighter chaff suspended where it is blown out the back of the combine. The sieves are a two-stage cleaning process with one sieve on top of another one. The upper sieve will keep the majority of the chaff from falling through. The lower sieve has smaller openings to catch any final chaff and keep it out of the clean grain. The sieves in this particular model are self-leveling. This keeps grain from flowing all to one side when the combine is harvesting on a hill and overloading the seeds and causing grain loss. The crop material that remained in the rotor cage is ejected from the cage and passes through a rotating drum with knives called a chopper. The chopper sizes the residue to promote faster decomposition and easier planting the following year. The chaff and crop material from the chopper are ejected into twin rotating discs called spreaders. The spreaders spread the residue evenly across the field. The clean grain falls through both sieves onto the clean grain auger. This grain is fed into a chain with paddles called a clean grain elevator. The elevator carries the grain upwards and dumps it into the incline auger. The incline auger dumps the grain into the grain tank where it is stored until it is unloaded. Now you've seen how a combine works in slow motion. Let's see how it looks at full speed.
Now that you've seen how a combine works, maybe you can appreciate these massive machines the next time you drive by a field being harvested. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other ag videos on our YouTube channel.